Squad's next update is just around the corner, featuring a new map. New faction. Oh, got him. But it's 200 for there. Oh yeah, and a whole bunch of new vehicles. We didn't forget about the heli either. I'm the older than average gamer. It's been less than a month since the biggest update in squad history, that being the version 6.0 that came with the infantry combat overhaul, and already we're getting prepared to get another pretty major update, this time getting Turkish land forces, a whole bunch of new vehicles, weapons, and a new map. And what you're looking at here is the UH-1H Heli, also known as the Huey, and this might be the most well-received vehicle in squad history. I, people are saying absolutely nothing but how much they love it, partly because all the instrumentation in this is all analog. There's no digital readouts in this. And in squad, if you're not aware, when you fly vehicles, you have to read your instrument panel. So this brings an interesting little twist to instrument panel reading because everything is on a dial or on a meter. Also, yes, that is my first time flying a heli in this game, so give me a break. Now, this new map, which is either called Sanction Island or Sanction Island, I honestly don't know how to say it, which is kind of unfortunate, but this new island is pretty darn cool. I've been playing the PTE over the last uh, few days over this weekend. Uh, the map itself looks really, really good. Uh, performance was good, especially considering it's a playtest. Sometimes performance takes a bit of a hit during those, which is understandable. It really felt pretty damn good during this entire playtest weekend. Um, the one thing you will notice, though, is this is one of the smaller maps. I mean, the actual size of the space on this map isn't terribly small, but when you consider how much water there is, um, a lot of this space isn't really usable to anything other than amphibious vehicles. But all that said, map still looks really cool, and it provides a nice change of pace from squad's general map feels, which is either desert or heavily forested. Sometimes it can be easy to overlook new settings when a game drops a new update. Don't sleep on these when this comes out, though. You're not going to get the opportunity to run NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency, as well as NVIDIA DLSS, which, if you're running this game on a slightly older system, you're really going to want to pay attention to this because this game can be a little hard to get high FPS out of if you're not running a pretty high-end computer. This is going to help you significantly. The A940 optic that you're looking at here that comes with the infantry and the MMG PMT-76 uh, for the Turkish forces is, I'm pretty sure, just the same thing that comes for the Australian forces, except this one is a 1x4 variable zoom, which makes it incredibly useful. Um, as you can see here, full auto can work if you're two feet away from someone, but uh, Using this object to its full potential in single fire is going to be really the bread and butter, especially for the rifleman kit. Squad lead, I'm going to need a new pair on the way. The SAR-109T SMG is a weapon that I think a lot of players were excited to try, but ultimately, this gun might fall victim to the infantry combat overhaul's new mechanical system. While I know there's a hot debate about whether or not the guns are too difficult to control now, I still ultimately am in that group that feels like it was still the right decision because it has absolutely helped make firefights last longer, be more engaging, be more immersive. However, with this weapon, unless you're inside, like the, like I am here in the shoot house, unless you have pretty much your entire match is gonna take place in situations like this, this gun becomes borderline useless at more than 15 meters. Uh, I do know it's an SMG, so it's not meant to be accurate uh, fully at medium ranges, but it's completely useless once you get past 20 meters, uh, which is a little aggressive. If a nightmare could come with a soundtrack, it would probably be the sound of this weapon. The 
The KNT-76 is a perfectly serviceable marksman rifle. It feels very familiar. If you play this class at all, you're gonna be right at home with it. Now something that might be causing some controversy, no, not this, this, is the MKE MGL grenade launcher. Uh, one of the cool things about it, as you saw there, is you can load individual rounds into the rotating chamber of this weapon, plus the full reload animation is pretty cool, as you see here. Just a nice little touch, they did a good job with that. Uh, the real problem, though, is the fact that you have sustained grenade launching potential with this weapon. Uh, if you've got resources next to you, like an ammo bag as well, uh, this might be something that they're going to figure out a way to balance a bit. And I'll, I'll be honest with you, I did not run into too many issues that I could tell with this in full matches. Uh, but this was a topic that was being talked about quite a bit between other players during the PTE this past weekend. Now this is something I thought was pretty damn cool. Have you guys noticed that there's a mini-map in your vehicle when you start the engine? What? Wait, what? Wait. Yeah, whoever's driving when you start your vehicle, that screen oh, finally. that's in front of your face is a mini-map. Not only is this a pretty cool visual touch to this game, if you're handy with your free look and you're a driver a lot of times, this will be something you can actually take advantage of and use. Uh, obviously you can't use this while you're in foot, but this is going to be great for people not having to look at the big map every time they're trying to figure out where to go. That's going to do it for me today, guys. I'm going to drop the full uh, vehicle list coming out with this new update uh, right here, and I'm going to leave you with this intensive fecal battle that does not end well for me. Cheers, you guys. Have a great day. Door south. Not really, possibly. Yep, south of the road. Looking. Hey, He's dead. You got, you got what? What? Uh, a good GL in this compound was this floor. On this floor, on this floor. RPG's down. RPG's down. Got him. A different RPG that time. <laughs>